Hubble, thank you. It was really awesome having you come in and uh, you know and 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 tell us your secrets. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't really a secret, but you're welcome. <laughs> well, you know what what seemed obvious to you may not be as obvious to others. So it's always good to uh, share knowledge. You just never know when people are going to find that that kernel of uh, oh my gosh, I'll just do that then. <laughs> and you know, it's something that that was you know it seemed really really clear to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It, 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 it's all about experimenting and trying new things, and uh, don't be afraid of just doing things. Yeah, if if it sounds crazy, well, maybe it's not. <laughs> yeah, but you know, thanks for having me. Oh, anytime. You're always welcome. So you know, it's good having you here, and you know, we're here every week talking meads. So anytime you want to come in, just let me know. All right. Cool. Uh, All right, guys. All right, so uh, we've got Hi, a few. Um, Stay sweet. All right, take it easy, Pablo. We'll talk right. to you soon. All, All right, man. Okay. Uh, all right, so we've got um, upcoming events. The uh, Let's see here. Starlight Meadery is always doing mead tastings. 810 Mead Works has stuff going on constantly. Uh, Brothers Drake Meadery, again, they always have stuff happening, ongoing concert events. Black Snake Mead does a series of Meet the Mead Maker events in their area. Go to their website and uh, see where you can find them. And coming up in just a couple of weeks is the California Master Beekeeping Course. Uh, you can find the link for that on the uh, Got Mead website. Just go to the show page for this episode, and I'll have the link right there. And coming up uh, September 24th, and entries uh, entry cutoff is tomorrow. So if you're planning to uh, enter a competition, tomorrow is your last chance for the uh, Texas Mead Cup. Uh, it is uh, September 24th from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., and if you go to texasmead.org, that's texasmead.org, you can get all the deets and uh, where you got to send your meads and, uh, you know, where you got to go to if you want to judge. Just go there and give them a contact. Uh, adults over 21, $20 per person. They also have the Texas Mead Festival, which uh, is multiple meaderies from around Texas to uh, do tastings and other things. So that uh, $20 per person gets you a tasting glass and eight tasting tickets. So uh, you can have a pretty good time. If you've got an event you'd like to, us to mention on Got Mead Live, you can send us an email at gotmeadlive at gotmead.com and tell us all about it. So our next guess is not in front of me because <laughs> I don't have that guest page up and I forgot to write it down on here. Hang on, <laughs> I don't have it for you. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm going to put up a list on the Got Mead site of upcoming guests because I filled out uh, quite a few uh, upcomings. We've got multiple weeks going ahead for a change instead of me just scrambling at the last minute to do it like I generally do <laughs> and pissing off my co-hosts who are like, who are we talking to? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, We're talking to Saturday. <laughs> it's more fun that way, right? Absolutely. It's always a surprise. Okay, next week we are talking to uh, Ash Fishbein at Sap House Meadery. And this multiple award winning meadery, uh, lots of really good stuff. And uh, we're looking forward to talking to them. So uh, tune in to hear more about them. Cool. Can't yeah. wait. Yeah. So I think we're going to. Uh, you know, let everybody else around here go to bed because I'm pretty sure that AJ's over there, like tipping over in her chair because she's uh, just in about. Um, so we'll go ahead and sign off and let everybody have to wait until next week. Ha ha. <laughs> 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 so uh, say good night, AJ. Good night, AJ. Say good night, Manny. Good night, Manny. Say good night, Haim. Good night, Haim. <laughs> Say good night, Vicky. <laughs> good night, Vicky. All right, y'all. So next Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, 
And what time is it? 10, 10 a.m. in Australia, in Melbourne? 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard in Melbourne. Same bat time, same bat channel. And we will catch y'all then. Good night. <laughs>